Development of the underground resources began years ago with the development of the AB adits to access these massive ore bodies. Our journey from the surface to the Grassberg underground ore body begins at Ridge Camp Yard, where we enter the AB adits and travel to the Grassberg terminal. You can follow our progress with the map on the left. Along the way, spurs off of the main adits lead to the Big Gossen and ultimately Kuching Liar, as well as to the deep MLZ. These adits serve as our main access for people and materials in and out of the underground. As we enter the Grassberg terminal, Workers and materials will be hoisted up to the appropriate levels in the Grassberg Block Cave. In addition to the terminal level, there are three additional levels. The Grassberg Block Cave, with one billion tons of ore, has a footprint of almost 200 football fields, with a height exceeding the Empire State Building. The development of the mine is on the various levels. Here, panel development occurs on the extraction level as we drill and blast to develop the panel. We move up 20 meters to the undercut level. Here we see advanced drilling and blasting to undercut the ore body. This undercutting will allow the ore to cave under its own weight. Once caved, draw points are developed on the extraction level. Over the life of the Grassberg Block Cave, we will develop over 2,400 draw points and mine the deposit at 160,000 metric tons of ore per day. The resulting ore is pulled from the draw points. Ore is transported to the Grizzly and Ore Pass to feed a series of train cars. The train cars will deliver the ore to a crusher and series of conveyors for delivery to the mill. The experience gained in our past and current underground operations will be invaluable as we develop the future underground at PT Freeport, Indonesia.